I'm cooking frog egg pudding today, also known as raw chia seed pudding. The chia seeds, when you jiggle them in the bowl, look just like little frog eggs. Keep that in mind. So the first thing you're going to need is pure stevia. This isn't that other kind that you pour in your coffee with a bunch of crap in it. This is pure stevia. Uh, almond butter. Vanilla extract. And unsweetened almond milk. So this recipe is really good for late in the night when you're trying to get shredded, cut weight, and you want something sweet because it's really healthy and low calorie. You're going to need chia seeds and some form of blender. I'm using a Ninja, which actually turned out to be really, really good. A great product. So you pour four cups of almond milk into your measuring cup. I did twice the amount of everything on this recipe than what the recipe actually calls for. One cup of chia seeds. Pour it into your blender. Spill a little bit for good luck if you want. Then two tablespoons of almond butter. I should have probably done the stevia before the almond butter because the stevia was sticking to the tablespoon. Okay. And I also probably did a little bit too much stevia. I would say three tablespoons would be better considering I did spill almond milk as well which just brought out the stevia even more. It's really like a good, it's not bad. So then two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Put the top on it, put the top on the top, and before you put the chia seeds in, we're just going to give it a quick blend just to make sure that mixture is all nice and dispersed evenly throughout. And then we're going to pour in our frog eggs into the blender. And we're going to close it up and make sure that it is very, very smooth throughout the whole thing. And this is just a, a really healthy dessert, okay? Like chia seeds are known as one of the best grains out there. It's a pseudo cereal and it's filled with omega-3s. It's high in healthy fat, really high in fiber. So basically when you're eating it, you take off four calories per each gram of fiber because you don't digest fiber. So then pour it into a bowl and mix it up just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to toss it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour just to let it settle. And we're going to put tin foil on it. Put it in the incubator, baby. As you can see, I have a coconut in there. Those things are amazing. Nature's soda. Okay, so close it up, 30 minutes, bring it back out, and we're just gonna stir that up one more time. And as you can see, the chia seeds have started absorbing some of that mixture and you just got to stir it up to make sure that it's not clumped up and at this point give it a little taste put the cap back on it and then we're gonna throw it in the fridge for eight hours I did that and then I brought it out again as you can see it's nighttime here so I brought it out and your chia seed pudding should be ready to go Okay, so this is a really healthy meal, healthy dessert meal. It tastes 
pretty damn good. I love chia seeds. Like, I, I'll drink them just out of water. So I have no problem that it's not, like, ice cream or, you know, something like that, which is just filled with sugar. And you actually wake up in the morning feeling good after this. So I toss some blueberries in it. And cheers.